Hopefully people did not get trapped by this last night. You know, this was a, a perfect example of people trying to think that they're smarter than the market, trying to get cute. And because of that, people got stuck. People got left behind. And I want to discuss what exactly this is. So we had been waiting all week for some sort of yay or nay in terms of retaliation. Was this in fact going to escalate? And we got our answer last night. What I'm talking about is the Iranian-Israeli conflict. We know that last weekend, this is what caused, caused the big drop in the market, right? We we saw a drop in terms of Shiba Inu. We saw a drop in terms of Bitcoin. And what happened was Iran attacked Israel. Now, over the course of this week, we've been waiting to see if, again, Israel was going to respond to this. And last night, we got our answer. They did, in fact, try to carry out attacks on Iran. There's kind of conflicting reports about whether this was successful or not, but that's neither here nor there. What we saw in the market was some, some reactions, right? We saw Shiba Inu, in fact, drop on this news. It got all the way down into the four zeros, uh, two zero range. We know BTC actually dropped all the way down into the mid 59K range. But we were talking about this in my Patreon as well. And I said, the market overreacted. Uh, the market overreacted already on Saturday and Sunday. So this may be nothing. And in fact, it has turned into nothing. It's exactly what I said. This is, again, one of those moments where people are saying, oh, yeah, it dropped last time there was a strike. So it's got to drop again. So the people that tried to get cute are the ones that now, in fact, got left behind. Because guess what? Those, those people that had fear from those events, they're gone. They already liquidated. They're done. All right. They're they're not reacting the same way. All right. Now, if you guys are interested in checking out my Patreon, the links in the description below, we got a discord going on. I, I discuss, obviously, you know, when I'm adding or when I'm buying, selling what I'm watching, things about the market. You know, you guys can can check that out uh, down below if you're interested. But what I'm seeing here is that overall want to rally in the market. You guys can see BTC, for example, setting this direction, this trend to the upside. We bounce off this, this bottom uh, line here like I was talking about. You guys can see Shiba Inu, even though it doesn't look like it's doing much, it is in a steady uptrend here. And in fact, you know, since this drop yesterday, we're up about 12% right now at the time of filming this. Uh, BTC is up about 9% right now. And Shiba Inu is again in this slow, steady uptrend. The nice thing too is when we look at the charts here, we are slowly getting lifted up by this 100-day moving average. We're showing some very, very good support here. Now, we are going to try to get sandwiched by this 20 and this 50-day moving average post-having here. So that's something to watch for. It'll probably be sometime mid to late next week if, if we continue to stay in this trend. But it's possible that the market just gets a, a really good pop. Remember, there's a lot of people trying to strike fear into the market right now. And this unnatural compression to the downside might lead towards a bit of a pop to the upside. That's that's what we really need to pay attention to. I haven't looked at the Bitcoin uh, leverage liquidation maps recently, but it's possible that if we start cutting through this pretty quick, we could start hitting some of that short those short leverage positions and, and cut through those kind of like butter, kind of like we did back here. I'm not saying that's a guarantee. Obviously, right now, you know, approaching the halving, it, there's kind of some uncertainty about, about what's going to happen here. I'll, I'll talk about that more in a different video. But right now, don't get trapped by the outside factors. Don't get trapped by the news. Again, me personally, guys, that's why I just continue to add to my positions. I just continue to accumulate. I'm not playing games. This is the, the point where a lot of people can lose their positions in the market just by trying to do too much. It's important to just sit back sometimes, let these things play out, and just wait for the months and months and months down the road and the better times in crypto. So but people can always do what they want. I appreciate you guys as always. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below, but have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.